is basically just a quick update as to what I've been doing since I've been at university. Um, so yeah, keep watching if that is something you are interested in listening to coming out of my face. So I'm just going to be talking a little bit about uh, what I've been doing since I came to uni. Uh, a little bit about my course and what I'm actually doing uh, at uni, what I'm going to be getting my degree in. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about my um, workload and how excessive it is right now. <laughs> um, and some of the projects that I've been set, some of them are really exciting. Some of them are a little bit weird, but in a good way. I'm sure that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about living away from home. And also I'm going to be giving you a housemate update. Um, and it's going to be, there's going to be the housemate update and the classmate update. And that is what's going to kind of revolve, that's, that's going to be like a little thing that I'm going to be putting in every now and then when anything happens or yeah, anything kind of interesting is going on with those people in my life. Um, yes. Beginning with my university course. So I am here at uni to uh, do a photography course and it is um, quite strongly based uh, within advertising and kind of the editorial kind of side of photography as well. And we're basically, our aim is to get a job within that sort of industry. That is the course that we are on. And um, that's something like I've always wanted to do and I've always wanted to explore more, but I've never had a chance to. So this is obviously, you know, a huge leap being able to be doing a course that is so focused on that. And um, also being able to do a course that is photography which I've not been able to do for a year because uh, I did an extra year of A-levels and so that's kind of, uh, I'm kind of getting back into it now but I'm thinking that, like so far I'm thinking that it's all going quite well. Um, and yeah, like strangely, other than the flood and stuff, like nothing's really gone that badly. Um, why, why, do I, why do I do this to myself? Why did I just say that? So what am I doing? Right. <laughs> Basically the workload is quite extensive at the moment but that's kind of more because um, we have just started and I think they are trying to scare us a little bit because apparently they do give us a lot all at once to start with um, and then it's more sort of bigger projects rather than loads of little ones which can get confusing so it will be more big projects um, towards the end of the year and then the second and third year will be the same. So this is just to kind of get us into it and to see what we're interested in, which is something that not many people know, so that's kind of really useful. Yeah, so we've done some things with old film cameras and that's been really fun for me because um, I've only explored that aspect a little bit before. Um, we're going to be developing next week as well, which is kind of weird because being in the dark room and stuff is it's not really a space I'm that comfortable with being in. And so that's going to be interesting, but I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll get the hang of it a little bit more, which will kind of make it a little less sort of frightening. And then we got put into groups. Um, for the first week, we did a painting with light project, which is basically you put um, you put the camera on a really really slow shutter speed, which means that you can draw pictures, um, and the camera will pick up on those pictures and it yeah it's fun so we were set like four briefs for that and so we had to do four photos and that went quite well because we had to do a presentation as well so that went quite well but not quite as well as this week we've just done this week we did a photo booth challenge which means that basically we were told we had to use a photo booth and we could, as long as we had at least four images at the end of it, then that was pretty much it. So that's all we were told to do. And, uh, and it had to have narrative. So each photo had to link to the, uh, the others in some way. So some people did like seasons, uh, some people did a yearbook, and I think theirs was the best. Um, that was really, really good. Um, but what we did was we did kind of the, um, we kind of used, the photo booth camera as if it was a mirror um, and so we had a girl like doing her makeup and her hair in it um, just like you would in um, the bathroom wherever you are um, 
just to sort your face out in the middle of the day or whatever it is. Um, but for next week we've been set another task which is we're only allowed to use six photos and we've got to tell a joke within those six photos. Now that's difficult. I didn't think it would be until he handed me the paper and then my mind went blank and nothing made sense anymore. So, so this is going to be very very interesting and I'm a little bit frightened of it so I just need to get over that and yeah and hope for the best. Alongside that obviously comes a lot of editing and research and writing and so that's what I've been trying to get on top of the past few days which um, that's been going okay um, but there's a lot to do <laughs> and we've got to use a three books which I'm not used to doing and it's just a lot of space to fill so I'm again just trying to get used to it. The brief that I've been really excited about is the seven photos so we've been given seven weeks and we've got to do a photo every single week and obviously these have all got to link because we're doing a, a like a little exhibition with the rest of our class and the rest of the people in the year above and the year above that but all on our course so it's only course members that are allowed to go but we've basically got to come up with seven photos at the end of it and um, they've all got a link and I've come up with an idea that I'm really really like, excited about but on the off chance that any of you watching are actually in my class you're not having my idea so at the end of the seven weeks maybe I will uh, vlog the exhibition or the putting up of the exhibition and I'll show you what I've actually created and I'll link you to my Flickr or something like that because I'll put those up. Um, and that, that's really exciting to me because I've been given something to do by myself and I've got a while to do it as well. Fingers crossed that will all go to plan. Ah, another thing you have all been waiting for, that would be the housemate update. And maybe a little bit of a classmate update because it rhymes and it's something that I think I should probably do. Okay. Okay. So everybody I'm living with is absolutely wonderful and lovely and um, basically I share interests with a lot of people here but not just that, the fact that we are all very different kind of works very well um, because we've got different people that we can go to for different things. Um, there are three boys in my I don't know, house flat, some what if. I don't even know what to call it at this stage. Basically there's eight rooms and we're all sharing a kitchen and a hallway and stuff. So there are three boys in that and the rest of us are girls. Um, there's one girl who's on my course um, and we're getting on really really well and she's in the room next door to me. Um, and that's that's really useful as well having someone uh, on my course so we can talk about different things that we're doing we can see what each other um, have done work-wise and also like we share interests with that which is really really useful and really cool um, living to that side of me is one of the boys um, living across that way is another one of the boys and the other boy is down there and so I'm kind of down the boy end of the corridor but then we've got um, the other girls living down that end. We've got we've got quite a mixture of different courses that people are taking as well so um, we've got um, two of us doing photography and um, there's two people also doing teaching. We've got someone doing childcare, we've got someone doing geography, um, a graphics designer and we've also got uh, an illustrator so there's all sorts of stuff jumbled about in there um, I think it works really well though because um, we're not all doing very similar things because I think if we were all doing the, exactly the same thing I think that would um, that would either that would probably get really competitive on my part I reckon just because even though you'd be close with all these people you'd not really want to share all your ideas with them and stuff like that. I'm a bit weird with stuff like that because I've had ideas pinched and stuff in the past and obviously that's not something I'm very happy about. Yeah, so everybody I'm living with is absolutely lovely and um, 
for instance like we've got pancake day every week which is a Saturday untraditionally I'm afraid but that means that when pancake day does come around it's twice a week which is genius yeah pancake day is my doing being that um, I make pretty good pancakes and it's quite cheap but it's a nice little treat on a Saturday I think so yeah that's what we do at breakfast time on a Saturday because most people go out sort of Thursday or Friday um, and so it's kind of a nice thing to get up a bit later and have some pancakes it's wonderful we have them with chocolate and it's good my classmate update um, okay so originally I was told there were only going to be 30 people in my class I get there and there's 50 and so they're having to split us into two groups, like two classes, for a lot of our lessons, which, to be honest, like, that is kind of a bit strange, because we're not actually getting to work with everyone, and I don't really feel like I know anyone in the other class at the moment, even though we have lectures with them twice a week, it's just a bit strange, because I've not been able to actually work with anyone from there. Um, but... I don't know. So who, the people that I have met, most of them are lovely. Some of them are people who I might clash with at some point in life. I can kind of see that. But at the same time, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, and I think the idea of having a lot more people than expected in my class kind of like ups the competition a little bit for me. And that's kind of driving me a little bit harder this year. So. That's, that's, gonna, that's surely going to be interesting when it comes to all the exhibition things at the end of the year. So, yeah, look out for that. That's going to be fun. This month coming, um, I've got two gigs that I'm going to. Uh, one of them is the Bowling for Soup uh, gig, which is their last UK tour. And it's making me quite sad because I'm going to be seeing them for the last time live in this country. Um, but I mean, it's going to be good as well. I've, I've got, you know, I've got my best friend, I've got Callum, and I've got my little sister, we're all going. That was my birthday present to her, um, was to get her the ticket. Um, because she's never seen them before, and it's definitely worth it, being that it's their last show. And it'll be her first proper rock gig as well. So, yay! That's going to be on the 19th, so we're going to be in Birmingham, for those of you who are keeping score. Um, <laughs> Uh, so that's going to be fun. Uh, then also in Birmingham, which is like I think the 25th, I'm going to see uh, a band called Orange and they are really awesome. I'm a big fan of them and I'm going to be photographing them um, and I might get a little bit of footage from that day and then show you a few of the photos and stuff. But uh, I've been speaking to the lead singer and stuff on, um, on Facebook and we've uh, yeah, we've come to an agreement that I can go take some pictures with my fancy camera and yeah, anything else I can borrow from the uh, store here, which is going to be fun. Um, and yeah, so hopefully that will give me, you know, some more footage, but it'll also give me some more photos that I can show off to people because I'm a bit of an arse like that, which, you know, what can you, what can I say? I mean... Nothing wrong with that. I'm sorry, I'm not that bad, really, I'm not. Enough nerdiness for today, I suppose. Anyway, I think I've rambled on enough about my geekery and my new friend type people. So, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to see more videos. Uh, Callum's will hopefully be up on Thursday, won't it? <laughs> um, and yeah, you'll get to see more from me and more from Callum. I'm always on Mondays and Callum is always on Thursdays. So if you haven't already, click subscribe and we will be uploading on Mondays and Thursdays from now on. Um, also, come find us on Facebook or Twitter as Vlogging to You, whichever you prefer, or both if, you know, that's your thing. Um, and also come find us on our blog page, which is blogging to you and uh, we're on wordpress.com okay thank you very much for watching i will see you next week bye
I've been staring into a light too long. I can't.